Hey guys, um, this is Lucas806. I haven't done a tutorial in over a year, I think about a year. Um, so I sort of want to get back into it because everyone's telling, asking me on graphic tutorials because apparently they liked my tutorials. Um, so yeah, um, today. I'm going to show you how to make this logo. It's not really up. Yeah. Um, it's a bit like the spoiler alert logo. Um, so I just I just made it like 10 minutes ago. I put clapping and cheeks on it. Didn't know what else to put. But you can put whatever. So I'll show you how to make it. Um, I'll show you. I'll first show you how to do the text, then I'll show you how to do the um, starburst shape effect on the outside that goes around it. Um, so first what you want to do is, let me just check, as you can see I've got a Mac now, I'm not using a Windows laptop. This is Photoshop CC, but this will work on, I know this will work on CS6, it should work on CS5, I'm not sure though, um, 1083 by 773, okay, so you want to go to new 1083 by 773, yeah, um, so let's start, the font you need for this will be Burbank big wide black. You want to make it about 75. Um, then just type in. So I'm just I'm gonna type in Club Penguin Cheats again. So I'll do Club Penguin. Put it like that. Then what we want to do is go to gradient overlay. So I've already got it. The spoiler alert one. Um, so you want this color to be FF eight C zero zero, and then the top color, the yellowy part here, to be FFE nine zero zero. So once you've done that, you go off that. Um, then you want to go to stroke. I think you want to make it, to make it about six. And the color you want is just down here. A E five one zero zero. Um. Now once you've done that, that's it. So just. Copy the layer style, put it on these. Yeah. Now, what you want to do is raster, actually, yeah, raster size them all so that you can add another stroke. Um, okay, so let's just. Now what you want to do is, so go to blending options again, now it should all be cleared, so you can add another stroke, the colour should be black, and the size should be about 9 or 10, depending on how you want it, um, copy that again, paste it, paste it, now, You'll move them together, so just put them how you want them. Out. Yeah, I think that's good. All right. Okay. Once you've done that, you can just hold down Shift, click on them. Um, 
merge them so they're all together. Then just cup Okay, now you've done that, you want to go to the shape tool and you want to go to custom shape and you want to go to here and click on the starburst one which is here. Then you want to hold down shift so that it's not all shape comes out because in proportion and you just, just make it like that and then can change it so put that behind starburst right so once that's done that's the background. This is the background that's go you're going to put inside the shape. So let me show you how to make that. What you want to do is go to new, just do 700 by 500. Let's get this color. This color will be 095. CB6, then you get the paint bucket and just fill it. That's the background color. And for the dots, these dots 054B97. So go to the shape tool, ellipse tool zoom in a bit. Now this, you need to hold down shift for this so that they're in proportion and just make them as big as you want. Just make them about 51. So once you've done that you can duplicate and just move across. And then once you've done that you can duplicate both of them. So you're going quicker, you don't have to manually keep creating everyone, um, duplicate those four again, yep, now duplicate that again. Now just duplicate roughly two more. Yeah, that's good. Just move them across a bit so that that works. Okay, now you can merge them all into one shape. Duplicate that layer and move it down. Much as you want. Duplicate those. Let's move it down. Duplicate those. Move it down again. Yep. Duplicate that again. Now I'll duplicate one more row. Oh, wrong button. Duplicate. So you need to move down. I'll just move it up a bit. So goes like that. Okay. That's fine. That will do. Now merge that all into one. And do Command A or I think it's Control A. I can't remember now on Windows. 
um, and then con Command C or Control C to copy it, and you want to paste it in here. Let's just make it a bit bigger. Do that. Now, make sure it's above the starburst layer. So this is the blue dot pattern. And you want to right click, create clipping mask, and it will go inside the starburst effect. Um, yeah, that's fine. Now you want to, so you can move that up a bit. Now we need this stroke, this outline, which I think, yeah, so it is 002C5C. So you get that, and let's just close this. Don't save. Don't save. Actually, cancel. Keep that there. Um, now you want to go to the starburst, go to blending options, go to stroke. I think do about nine again. I'll go to the color, get this color. So it up a little bit so now you want to merge all of the layers and you want to go to blending options outer glow normal you want to make the color black make it fifty percent opacity make the spread a hundred percent and just keep keep the size five that should do so now if you just get a layer oh wrong color you can see it's sort of a shadowy effect and that's how you do it that's all you need to do so i hope you guys like this tutorial i think it's not that hard to do but um, if you have any questions, I'm not sure, I might have gone a bit too fast, but yeah, um, um, give me any ideas for any more tutorials, because I had to just, I didn't know what to do, I just thought of this, because I had nothing else to do. Um, hopefully I can do more tutorials, um, thanks, bye.